hello and welcome to my channel today's video title is called fat girl blues now I know any a lot of you guys will see this title and you guys may wonder hmm what does that mean I want to briefly talk about some of the myths and stereotypes that exist out there for fat women and I do have to say that because I am a black woman that will inform a lot of my experiences and um, my perceptions of some of the myths and some of the stereotypes now if you see me looking down this way that's because I have a laptop that I've taken the liberty to write down some information so that I make sure that I do not miss anything first of all I have to say that I personally do not have a problem with using the word fat I believe it's a descriptor now I know a lot of you guys out there you guys may not think the same and I would want to hear what are your perceptions of even using the word fat why do you even need to use it um there are so many other terms out there that we can use and that's something we're gonna get to later on so I wanted to start off with um fat girl myth number one is that fat girls have lower standards yes so fat girls have lower standards and um, I'm gonna use the term girl and woman interchangeably um yeah so the stereotype this stereotype in particular comes about because a lot of people say that oh fat people are already hard to want hard to desire hard to like that their standards are lower therefore that so that we can I guess scrape at the bottom and be at least be able to get someone and I saw a campaign that says um fat girls won't give you their numbers or won't even give you a call back and that is so true there are no differences because you're plus size because you're bigger that just makes it so easy for people to just come up to you and waste your time <laughs> no i'm playing not everyone that comes up to you is gonna waste your time but our standards are as high as any other person we have our self-worth we know what we want and we go and we get it there's no reason for us to lower our standards another aspect of that is that attractive guys won't go for bigger girls to say that is to say bigger girls are, are unattractive and therefore they're not worthy of being desired which i'm gonna go ahead and say that is completely false we are beautiful you are beautiful trust me when i say that attractive that term we well we know what that means but attractive guys and girls will find bigger bodies attractive bigger girls attractive and off the bat you automatically will think about the people who fetishize fetish am i saying that right fetishize bigger women especially we all heard the song by drake i like my girls bbw and all of a sudden everyone liked their girls bbw as if they were in the closet secretly admiring us and all of a sudden Drake said it they're like I like BBWs I always like BBWs right and a lot of them still don't know what BBW means because in the video what did we see but yeah so what are my thoughts you know what that's something I've struggled with for a long time is there are a lot of people that would approach me and try to talk to me and off the bat first thing they said is they'll quote the song I like my girls BBW or they'll say oh I prefer plus size women or all my exes were um, bigger as if to make me feel better and to be you know what to be honest at the time it did make me feel better because as a bigger woman one of the things we always seem to ask and that is so self-defeating is to be like why does he why does she find me attractive we go to that moment of self-doubt as if we're not worthy of love so i guess it's a double-sided coin 
in terms of people not finding us attractive. So sometimes we internalize some of that. And I'm encouraging you not to do that. You are beautiful. I'm going to repeat that word so many times un during this video until you get that. You are absolutely beautiful. Worth it to be loved. Worth it to be experienced. Baby girl. Baby boy. You are beautiful. Um, Yeah, so... Oh, back to the fetish thing. Yeah, and it's something that I had to come to terms with that I'm not a fetish. Plain and simple, I'm not a fetish. As a plus size woman, as a black woman, I guess as both, I'm not a fetish to fulfill your sexual desires. You see, I'm more than the sum of my parts. I'm desirable. You're not gonna like me simply because of the I get you sexually riled up. That is not going to be the only reason why you're going to talk to me. I have so much to offer. You guys have so much to offer. So I'm personally not comfortable with the whole fat fetish in terms of, for me, in terms of dating and things like that. That's just not something that I am about. Next is... Did you guess? Yes. That... Fat people, fat women, bigger people are lazy. And you know, on the flip side of the coin to laziness is always that we are unhealthy. So I'm, we're unhealthy because we're fat is to say that every person who's non-fat, I'm not going to use the word skinny because there's even a lot of debate about where does the term plus size, where does the term fat, in terms of size, like where does it start? So I'm, I'm guessing everyone who's non-fat is therefore not lazy, therefore they're active and they're healthy, but we also have to understand that you cannot measure health or activity level or laziness by just looking at someone. There's not a special code that's written on their forehead proportionate to the mass that they carry that tells you the person is fat or and unhealthy or they're non-fat and healthy. So I want you guys to get out of the way. And I know a lot of people, they say that, oh, it's an excuse when we say, oh, there are some people that have certain diseases that makes it easy for them to gain weight and hard to lose weight. But that's a reality. We have to accept the fact that people are plus size or bigger for a different reason and yes there will be some who have diseases there will be that causes them to retain weight or makes it hard for them to lose weight there are going to be those people who don't exercise who don't eat so healthy and that causes them to be fat but that doesn't mean that you respect them any less that doesn't mean that they deserve to be bullied that does not mean any of that people can be the way they are for multiple reasons and we have to respect that we have to respect where people come from we don't know their history so we can't condemn them based on where they are right now so let's just get that out of our vocabulary our, our state our mental vocabulary I really want to go ahead and touch base about this one myth and it's not a myth, but it's 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 a mind state that we as a culture, I guess we as a people are having, and that is that only curvaceous people are attractive. Now before it was about being skinny, it wasn't like it wasn't as important, but now proportions rule everything. We are enslaved to that measuring tape, making sure that we are stacked and that's pervasive within the fat community the body positive community we tend to praise those who are the right kind of fat and by that I mean they have their waist is really small but I guess they're behind and their breasts are BBW now like I mentioned we are slaves to our proportions and we often neglect within the body positive positivity movement that even within that movement there is a variety of bodies that deserve to be seen and accepted wholeheartedly wholeheartedly and positively 
there are those who are top heavy there are those who are bottom heavy there are those that carry weight in their stomach there are those that are bigger and don't have big boobs i don't have big boobs and i'm a big girl there are those who are bigger who don't have big butts it's as if the only way you can be an acceptable fat person is if you have a big boobs and big butts and that is not true there's different ways to be fat and we have to accept all of that not just the acceptable versions and um i have to as a black woman being black woman enforces my experience informs my experience being a fat woman and um i also have to say even within my community we tend to be more acceptable we accept those plus size women who are lighter skinned or brown skinned and we often neglect the dark skinned ones it's as if they've been hit with a double whammy they're dark skinned and they're fat and a lot of people they feel unattractive they don't feel like they're beautiful but like i said i'm gonna mention it you are beautiful you are beautiful i'm telling you, you are beautiful and um i also quickly want to talk about the different terms um, being big, fat, plus size, BBW. Do you know what each of these words mean and do you agree with them? Personally, for me, like I mentioned, BBW is, for me, is a fetish. It's a term that I equate to having a fetish. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but in terms of big, fat, plus size, I don't have a problem with it. I believe those are descriptors of who I am, who, of who a lot of people are. And I think you should use what you're comfortable with. You you have to definitely define yourself. Do not live with the standards set forth by society. You have to go on and form your own path and define what it is that you want to be defined as. <sighs> Alright, so, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of talking, but um, speaking of the different, um, I guess, words that we use there's also the drop the plus movement that's going on or i'm with lane bryant plus is equal and i'm totally about that movement and being powerful now it raises a question and i know the community is divided about that is should we drop the plus why do we need to drop the plus if plus is a descriptor then why can't we leave plus size model the way that it is and take pride in that and be like yes i'm a plus size model why must we then why do we need to take plus out and in a way try to conform and be like be within i guess the accepted majority of models why can't we just leave plus size and i it's a topic that i personally i'm still divided on so i definitely want to hear what you guys think about drop the plus plus is equal plus is definitely equal i can say okay i guess i agree with that one but drop the plus is something that i'm still kind of iffy on so i definitely want to hear your, your feedbacks what do you guys think drop the plus keep it leave it what is plus <laughs> some of y'all look like i don't even know what it is what are you talking about yes so let me know what you guys think with your comments below and and you know what that's what my channel's here for if you ever need help or support or just need somebody to talk to, to vent to, definitely hit me up. My email will be below. I want to hear your stories. Um, if you guys have any other myths that I did not touch upon, I definitely want to hear it. I want to hear what you guys, your thoughts are. This was Fat Girl Blues. This was not a boo crying session. Ooh, it's sad or whatever. Um, I'm hoping this was a place where we can start a dialogue about the things that we go through and that's why i'm here um i'm excited um i have more videos of coming up for you guys if you guys have any topics you guys want me to talk about if you have questions even about me who's this girl talking to me right now on this youtube video where's she from what's her inspirations <laughs> like whatever it is that you guys want to know hit me up i'm so excited to start off this channel like comment subscribe i'm new to this video but i do remember people saying that at the end of their videos like comment subscribe share that's what's important 
share and empower other people and we can empower people through just starting conversations just bringing about awareness about some topics that affect us well i'm gonna stop rambling now um thank you guys for tuning in this was fat girl blues you see what i did i wore the blue lipstick i wore the blue lipstick because it went with it all right let me stop y'all have a good night because it's a good night where i am right now and if it's morning where you are at have a fabulous morning and like i said i was going to mention a lot and i'm going to say it again you are beautiful thank you